Introduction into Intercultural Communication, Lecture 6. The Cultural Values of Kazakh and American People. In this lecture, you should try to recall features of individuality in the native culture, describe the concept of privacy in Kazakh culture, compare and contrast time and space attitudes in the studied cultures, Kazakh and American cultures, and discuss forms of addressing and greeting by Kazakhs and Americans. Due to many historical and political factors, when Kazakhstan declared national independence in 1991, it had a population composed of more than 130 different nationalities with 42 different religious confessions. In defiance of the possibility for ethnic and religious conflicts, tolerance and mutual understanding prevail in Kazakhstan. This attitude promoted by the new government and strengthened by Kazakhstanese open-mindedness has led the people to find a balance among their different origins and religious beliefs in all aspects of daily life, from their leisure activities to their professional environment. When we speak about the culture, we should speak about the national culture and world culture. National culture is one of the involvements of humanity. Above all, world culture is the combination of national cultures. The best achievement of national culture with general humankind ideals gain world recognition and become one of the world cultures. Issues of natural, national culture, its significance and their interrelation is directly connected with the process of globalization. It means that today's civilizational, informative and post-industrial society is changed in the context of this process. Any country, nationalities, culture is a part of the world culture space. On the context of the world culture are based dialects and interrelationships between cultures with peculiar values, spiritual and material ess essences of separate ethnicities. In this animated video, you can see the study of life cultural map over the time 1981 till 2015. In the given example, you can see the changes of cultural identities and beliefs and norms. Kazakh culture could be a Eurasian culture that belongs to each uh, the East and West while not being Jap or Western, remaining original, that is characteristic of the overwhelming majority of Indo-European civilizations. To grasp something of the local culture, culture, it is important to appreciate Kazakh cultural values. Any discussion of Kazakh local relationships soon encounters the term Kazakh values, which is often used as a synonym for traditional Kazakh culture. Kazakh and Western scholars have studied the long and complex history of nomadism as philosophy, as political, moral and social theory and as religion, and have debated its fate in the modern world. Kazakhstan is the motherland of the great philosopher and founder of Sufism, Hoja Ahmed Yesavi, whose mausoleums and mosque survive in the ancient town of Turkestan. Sociologists and anthropologists have often seen Kazakh values as intellectual elaborations on basic cultural traits of Kazakh people whose everyday life can be seen as governed by Kazakh cultural morality. Traditionally, social organizations organization involved a structure of hierarchical relationships between distinct categories of people who were expected to follow their sense of duty and behave towards each other in ways appropriate to their relationship. 
If everyone held to be to the expectations associated with their status, social stability and harmony would be maintained and the order of the uh, cosmos would prevail. The central social relationships were defined by the values of Kazakh culture, those between father and son, ruler and subject, husband and wife, older and younger brother, and between friends. Each of these relationships was associated with a specific quality or character, respectively love or affection, righteousness or duty, distinction or sincerity, and trust. Most of these relationships were family ties based on hierarchies of generation, age, and gender. The relationship between the ruler and the ruled was also conceived on the model of father and son, while women's social role was seen as predominantly internal to the domestic sphere. In the article Role of Global and Kazakh Cultural Values in Formation of uh, Y Generation, uh, the scientists Nargiz Abdulina and Alia Abishova. In the given table, you can see the result of the survey uh, on values, attitudes, behaviors in Kazakhstani society. The survey was held in 2018, and 91% of the respondents mainly valued independence and hard work. Feeling of responsibility was very high in 70% of the respondents. In the working community, Tolerance and respect for other people was appreciated by 85% of the respondents. If we speak about Kazakh traditional culture, Kazakh people highly value the family lineage. They also are divided into three main Jews or horde. They are the great, the middle and the little horde. And accordingly, there are three dialects belonging to the following Jews. Religion is one part of the traditional culture. The big part of Kazakh people are Muslims. There is a saying, here is a fool who has forgotten what become of his ancestry seven generations before him and who does not care what will become of his pregony seven generations after him. Thus, it speaks about the attitude of Kazakh people to the history and to the future of their culture. Traditionally, in a nomadic culture, hospitality has always been an important part of Kazakh culture. Display of generosity and welcoming behavior are common in both social and business Kazakh spheres. Kazakh traditions and culture have been passed on from one generation to another through oral histories told by traditional Kazakh tribal leaders and elders. Most of, most of the traditional Kazakh cultures was lost under Soviet rule, but strong elements remain today and are celebrated among families, a central part of Kazakh society. While the country is becoming increasingly modernized and in constant contract with global culture, Kazakhs hold on, on strongly to their traditions and culture of which they are proud. Kazakhs are collectivist culture. So the concept us in traditional Kazakh society has always been more significant than one of me. Relationships of property were similar with the strongest emphasis being upon their collective origin. Three main forms of property, private, common group and social, existed before in Kazakhstan. Freedom is the major value of the civic society being formed in Kazakhstan. This must provide everyone with possibility to creative self-realization. Nomads have always been famous for a freedom-loving spirit. The feeling of freedom resulted in special attitude to the environment, a developed awareness and a profound interest in the world. The formation of civil society institutions is possible within the development of a patriotism shared by the entire Kazakhstan and with deep roots in the culture, psychology and historical past of Kazakhs. Religious tolerance, absence of 
fanatism and religious aggression are historic traditions of the Kazakh nation. Respect of elders and of the spiritual freedom of other nations are principal values. It is important to develop a productive dialogue between confessions and to acknowledge religion as an element of civil society. Once a foreigner married to a Kazakh woman said that in Kazakhstan personal life is not highly valued. Relatives can drop in at any time and you have to put things off, not paying attention to your own personal matters. So it is common to see to uh, to hear killing is sadakwanakutyumus, which literally mean we'll be happy to welcome you again. So Kazakhs are always ready to welcome guests. Dastarhan for Kazakh people was more than a table and food consuming. It imposed communication and information exchange between people. The primary function of Dastarhan still remains unchanged today. Kazakhs get together to exchange news about certain social medium like relatives, friends, fellow countrymen, fellow townsmen or fellow villagers. Kazakh people tend to comply with politeness etiquette when communicating with elder people using positive politeness strategy. This refers to the steadfast law of Kazakh life reflected in constant respect to the forefathers and ancestors. An elderly person has always been a source of wisdom. In, in the past, elder Kazakhs were accepted and were more experienced, had wide outlook and were able to help finding a solution for any situation. Elder people were obliged and happy to help the younger generation. Young people were viewed as their traces left after them. Younger people were supported to help elder with petty life problems. There is saying, there is saying, This tradition is preserved in the modern Kazakh society, but not demonstrated in official communication. This expression in communication in the following ways. A younger person is the first to greet the elder one when greeting the younger person, stands up when greeting the elder. The oldest is the first to start the meal and the talk. When dividing prey after a hunt, elderly people were the first to take their share. When entering a house, elder pe elderly people were always given turn to enter first. And when sitting the most respected place in the house, Tur was given to the eldest and thus the most respected guest. Today, this principle of seniority retained in all communicative situations, except for the prey, of course. There still exist special ways of expressing respect towards elderly people in the society, that the ways of greeting, the ways of addressing, described by etiquette. In any situation, you youth have uh, to render attention and the ability to be helpful. Knowledge of one's ancestry also served as a guarantee of life in Kazakh steep. It helped to communicate with people one met, to, to get a shelter in owls and to feel at ease and comfortable anywhere a person was because there was always a possibility that someone they met could be their relative, close or distant by any branch or generation. The people in the steep were not afraid of strangers and every person was treated like a brother, like a blood relative. Otherwise, it would be impossible to inhabit, survive and prosper on the colossal area of Kazakhs inhabited. That is why the saying Karga Tamarla Kazakh was very popular among people throughout countries. The knowledge of kindred relations among Kazakhs was widely known, gradually grew into moral ethnic criterion. Kazakhs didn't and do not marry to a relative to the seventh generation, and if a person violated this law, it was accepted as crime, damaging biologic nature, outraging moral ideals of people. Thus, nomadi habitat bore unique mechanism providing ethno-biological and ethno-cultural unity, knowledge of 
ancestors to the seventh generation, Jita Ata, literally meaning seven grandfathers. Genealogy for Kazakhs is not only the least of names on a family tree. The historical concept of oral genealogies reflect the abundant spectrum of relational interconnections in the uh, general national solidarity. Family structure was also one of the index characteristics of nomadic lifestyle. Thus, when starting a conversation with a stranger, Kazakhs started with naming their relatives. Kazakhs divided all relatives into three groups, being guided by considerations that a person as a social subject is connected, first of all, to, uh, to the three jurts. Own jurt, father's relatives, Narasha jurt, mother's relatives, and Chayen jurt, wife's or husband's relatives. The names of one's own jurts, Aki, Bala, Bilbala, Nimiri, Shubiri, Shubshik, Nimiri, and others. These are the seven generations. Further, great Baba, grand, uh, great grandfather, Baba, Ata, Aji, Kuki, and etc. All these are relatives from father's side. There are also names for the relatives from the mother's side, names for matrimonial relationships. All in all, there are eight, 90 na main names of the close relatives. Naming relatives of their communicant, Kazakh people start titling from themselves. Uh, this is why a Kazakh does not feel like a stranger in any society, being sure that among their communicants there will be at least one close or far away relative from one of the title groups or, or subgroups. There is no one, uh, there will be relative from their jurors, the biggest after ethnic identity index among Kazakh people. There exist other more faraway connections uh, apart from those clans, branches of niece, nephews, fathers of sons-in-law and non-clan connections according to their ritual, combat kinship, peaceful brotherhood and etc. This is the list of most Kazakh cultural norms which is kept in, uh, in Kazakh society. However, Amingirlik is an ancient Kazakh tradition permitted with an idea of humanism according to which is widowed wife married one of her husband's brothers. The purpose of this tradition was to support the widow and her children who were left without father. Today, one of the brothers of the deceased spouse cares and helps and often family without marriage. Thus, the impact of global values do not negate many of the traditional values of the Kazakhs, although some are subject to revaluation, in which case leading values persist, and some adapt to new conditions of development, their transformation occurs, and in some cases they are hybridized with others, not only by Western values, that today is called hybridization. Independence as one of the leading values of Kazakh culture, strengthening of mind for centuries of the nation, today plays an important role in the freedom to those to choose the national culture, its ideas, and can act as an integrating force in the entire hierarchy of sustainable and changing values of our modern culture. Kazakhstani coming from different ethnicities and religions since the childhood at school share knowledge, living environment and history. They bring their family, family ideas with themselves and share them with classmates. They influence each other's mind and create in this way a place for mutual cultural interpenetration. After viewing the lecture, students are required to answer the following questions. What uh, may the universal culture pattern be expressed in? The second, what are the cultural values of Kazakhs? Third, what do Americans and Kazakhs say about history? Are they of the same opinion as can be described in the previous lecture? How do Kazakhs and Americans behave? 
Are they collectivistic, individualistic? What is the attitude of Kazakh people to time? In the references, I provided you with the material that have been used in the preparation of the lecture notes and the presentation.